On this episode of TFL Truck, we are in the future. Well, actually, no, we're at Happy Yak Ranch here in Colorado. Uh, but David, I have something very, very special planned, hence the future part. Well, we're in the middle of my yak field. Got my camper hooked up. <laughs> How could that be part of the future? <laughs> it's part of the future because we have a brand new battery inverter system, basically a generator that we can use anywhere. It's snowing. Yeah. <laughs> we need heat. We, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm wondering why you came in the middle of a snowstorm to check this thing out. <laughs> well, you picked a nice day. <laughs> yes, uh, we have a brand new first ever Zendur system, a battery inverter system. Let me show you well, the battery. Actually, this is a perfect day, Andre. Why? Because we need to hook up the heater. Yes. And we need to grill a yak burger. <laughs> and see how much power this thing can put out. This video is brought to you guys by a friend at Zenger. Use the link in the description below. You can learn much more about this system. I'm pretty excited about different use cases that are possible. Let me know what you think. Uh, so let's power this on. And this is special because this is first ever mobile battery system with an inverter that's capable of both 120 volt and 240, 240 volts awesome and it has brand new battery technology they call it semi-solid huh. um, it's really fancy so it's not lithium uh yes there is lithium, oh, it is lithium. ion phosphate batteries as well but the new technology makes it a little bit more power dense um so, so it, it can, can be a smaller package yeah smaller package a little bit more lightweight maybe otherwise cool. and they say also safer so i'm glad it fits on the back of my caboose now the caboose is an old 1975 trailer okay. that I had forever that I took down to the frame. But I used a lot of the components, and one of the components I used was the pigtail that, that powers. Can, can, can you show yeah. that? Yeah. So it's just coiled up on the back porch of the caboose, but it's it's your standard plug. I mean, it's got 30, you know, the 30 amp, yep. which we don't have here, but it's got the adapter so that we can at least go well, 110. Wait a minute. Show me that again. Yeah, but that's not 240. That's just 110. Yes. Or 120. But the, wait a minute. This has 120 volt, 30 amps. Oh, well, that's perfect. Can we try that? Let's see if it fits. It does. Look at that, Andre. So we just connected the past into the future. Yeah, from 1975. Okay. Now it's 93% uh, battery in this puppy. It's 6.4 kilowatt hours. And then we have an expansion pack we could add to this as well. So let's go see how it works inside. Okay. Come on in, Andre. David, can I enter your home? Come on in and enjoy, okay. enjoy this, my camper. This is amazing, by the way. Well, thank you. Yeah, I built see, this. Kind of, it was kind of like a dream that I uh, uh, finally got around to building. Yeah. And it's me, you know. I yeah. can see your trickle charger is on. Your 12-volt system is powered up. Yep. The lights are on. Yep. But let's get some heat in Get here. the heater going. Yeah. So this will be nice to, you know, because I'm when I'm in the woods, I can't use this. I have to use a propane heater. Right. But this would give me the, uh, the opportunity yeah. to go up in the hills and, and heat my caboose even when it's snowing outside. So let's see. I wonder what, let's put it on high and then we'll just set uh, our temperature at... Maybe a comfortable, like, what, 70, like 71? 70. Yeah. All right, David, so the heater is on, and it's showing about uh, 1,290 or 85 watts. Watts, and it's probably going to pull that until the whole caboose gets up to temperature. Yeah, but you have really good insulation, right? Well, that's what I really pride myself on. Those windows are like house windows. They're argon-filled, double-pane windows. Yeah. And then I insulated, insulated it uh, with foam, so... It does really good in the cold weather. So let's do this calculation, right? We have 6.4 kilowatt hours, uh -huh. right? So that's about 64. Uh, if everything was perfect, that was about 64 watt hours. Okay. Divide by what is it? 1285. Uh -huh. That's the power that the heater is drawing. Using, yeah. You have about almost five hours of continuous pure, continuous heat time. So I, I got a feeling it'll it'll heat it longer than that because once it gets up to temperature, it's going to click on and off with this thermostat. But let's double that. So uh, it let's, might make it through the night. But we can double it. All right, David. People might be wondering how heavy this stuff it's is. It's heavy. Right. So this is about 130 pounds. Wow. This is 100 pounds. 100 pounds. But okay. let's double the capacity, like we said. Sweet. Right. 
Oh, it kind of locks in place. Locks oh, in place. And yeah. now this is 6.4 kilowatt hours. This is another 6.4 kilowatt hours. Uh, now we need to connect them. So this is the daisy chain cable. And according to the company, you could put up to three more. So you can do four of them here. <laughs> that would look cool on the back of my caboose. <laughs> I think we're in business. Well, let's go make a yak burger. I'm, I'm interested. Get that let's, heater let's, going. Let's go. We're going to toast your buns. <laughs> so we need this. And, wow. Uh, let's see. we got to cook our burger. So oh, wow. We need a griddle. You do have a lot of stuff here. So if you notice, all that's on my countertop is yes. just the sink. Yes. I didn't put a stove in here. I didn't put any other appliances. I do have a gas grill okay. that I can put on here. But this is gonna be sweet because- Electric can, only. Use electric only. I don't have to bring a bunch of bottles of propane with me. Aha. Oh, I love that sizzle. Oh, yes. So this battery, it's kind of like ha having a jerry can, right? Jerry oh. can of energy. Um, you could fast charge it at a EV charger. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah. So it'll take an hour or two, oh, that's you know, cool. to charge one of, one of them. So. Uh, you can run a lot of things with it. It's capable of up to 5,000 watts. Yeah. You know I have a new scale for energy usage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so the frozen pizza, this everybody, is good. This is good. everybody has made a frozen pizza. It takes about 0.7 kilowatt hours of energy. Okay. So using 6.4 kilowatt, that's- In the oven. In the oven. Okay. 6,400 watt hours divide by 700 watt hours that need, needed to cook a frozen pizza in, okay. the, in the oven. Okay. We can cook nine pizzas on the amount of energy. Is that on just the base one that we have? Not the satellite? Yeah, just on the just base on one. Just on the base yeah. one. Yeah. So the satellite does doubles that. Yeah. So We can cook 18 pizzas. Yes. So we can run a big party. So what about cooking a Thanksgiving turkey? That's about eight kilowatt hours. So we need this satellite for that. And then I haven't even told you, it will charge an, an electric car. But how many miles can you go on that? Well, let me show you. Okay. I, 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 I'm going to go home. I'm going to use my wife's car as an example oh, and okay. I'll show you. Okay, cool. All right, David. So I went home and it started snowing really hard. So I wasn't able to show the Zanger uh, charging my wife's BMW i3. But what I can show is it charging a Hummer EV electric truck. So I have it hooked up. Yes, you could hear the fans start to come up a little bit. With 12.8 kilowatt hours of energy in this battery pack I have here, you could add up to 20 miles to the Hummer. But if this was a BMW i3, you could add up to 60 miles of range using this battery pack to that electric vehicle. So it could work in an emergency if in order to get you to the next charger in theory. David, I'm gonna go check our energy usage, okay? All right, well, don't get caught in the snowstorm. Whoa, snow! Okay, so it's still running around 2,000 watts. Okay, consistent. Yeah. And so we that... dropped down to 84%. We were at 90. David, it also comes with solar panels. I don't think it's gonna help us today, Andre. <laughs> When I originally built the camper, I put solar panels on top. I'm not, they were flexible ones and I mounted them to the top. Uh -huh. they, they, they was okay when you were driving, but okay. typically you want to park in the shade. This is the best setup. You can park your camper in the shade. You can put your panels out in the sunlight and charge whatever you've got going. So this is what people always ask us, right? Can I charge my truck or a camper or a car? This is 400 watts. This Zenger system is capable of up to 3,000 watts of solar. But can you help me? Can yep. you unravel this? So this is the surface area. Yeah, so if the sun was coming, we could put it at an angle to catch the most sun. If, it, if it's in storage, let's say the system is stored somewhere, you're not using it, it will keep that topped off, basically. Yeah. And then you can get going. That again. is nice, yeah. I've got more goodies. So, of course, you can get accessories like you saw the solar panels. Let me show you this. We mentioned, I mentioned charging a, a vehicle and Zenger will um, offer this. Standard 1772 cable and plug right there. And then I also said you could charge 
this battery system with a fast charger and this is the adapter they provide that's nice it's dinner time come on How the buns? are you hungry Ooh, yes okay i skipped lunch today i was just well i'm glad we can take care of you here at the happy yak ranch okay i appreciate and, it uh, dude there's no almost no fat well that's the great thing about yak it's probably like 96 97 percent that's that is amazing all right, you want some ketchup? Yeah, Put yeah. Ketchup on yeah, there. What are you doing? Okay. What are you gonna have? Uh, I'm gonna have a uh, English muffin. <laughs> okay. I'm happy. Well, I gotta feed our cameraman too. Oh yeah, the camera guy. Case, what do you want? Toasted or grilled? I go toasted. Toasted. Okay. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. This burger is really great. <laughs> Especially mm. when you're super hungry. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. also warm and hot. <laughs> really it's good. Really great, man. Mm. All right, David, well, I feel better. <laughs> I, I ate. I'm sorry, I didn't have enough for both Case and I, but I'm glad you're full. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so what do you think? Uh, you're probably wondering how much it costs now. Yeah, I have an idea. Can yes. I guess? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm gonna guess since it has the capability of, go of hooking up to a fast charger, which yes. I don't know of any others that do, maybe they do. Uh, 240 volt. It's 240 volt, yes. which a lot of those smaller ones don't have. Yeah. Capable of having how many piggybacks? Like uh, up to four. I mean, those are a lot of features that you don't see elsewhere. I, I know it's not cheap. I'm gonna guess everything we see here with the piggyback, 4,600 bucks. Is that a good guess? You're close. You're close. So okay. introductory pricing on the Super Base V just by itself. Uh, was $3,800. Okay, for this unit? Yeah, for, for this unit okay. here. Of course, everything is extra. You know, the solar panels are extra, the extra cables, yeah, uh, the satellite batteries are extra, uh, like you said. But here's the use case that Zendra keeps talking about. It's also backup power, yeah, right? I don't see it being real practical for what we're doing, trying to heat the camper in the middle of a snowstorm. <laughs> I don't think that's the best use for it. <laughs> but I could see if the power goes down, we have an ice storm and the power goes down, yeah. I've got a whole lot of yak meat in my freezers that could go gotta, bad. You gotta keep it, you yeah. know, keep it cold. Right. So it has zero millisecond, they say, UPS capabilities, so backup power. Um, Instantly. Instant, instant backup power. Wow. And uh, so yeah, so let us know what you think in the comments below. I wanna thank Zendra once again for providing this equipment for us to test. Yeah. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more with this as well.